welcome to Harvest Christian Center. I hope everybody out there is safe in the, during this pandemic. I sure do miss having all the kiddos around and hopefully we'll be together real soon. Well, today Ms. Bev wants to talk about promise. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and the living creatures of every kind on the earth. Genesis 9, 16. A rainbow resembling a emerald encircled the throne. Revelations 4, 3b. Did you know that a rainbow is a promise? Did you know the Bible begins with a rainbow and ends with a rainbow? In Genesis, it says that the rainbow of God promises to shine across the world. In the book of Revelations, it says the emerald rainbow shines around the throne of God in the heavens. So it starts, Genesis is the beginning book, and Revelation is the ending book, and we have a rainbow in both. A very long time ago, God could, could only find one honorable person, Noah. So God asked him to build a large boat, which we know what? As the ark and loaded with his family, his wife, his three sons, and their wives, and a pair of every living bird and animal on earth. Then God sent the rain for 40 days and 40 nights until the earth was covered with water in a great flood and all the people and all the animals outside drowned, even the birds. After the water dried up and Noah built an altar and worshiped God, God spoke to Noah and his sons. He promised that the earth and every living thing on it will never be destroyed by a flood. We see the story as evidence of one more time of the grace and goodness of God who made a solemn promise. And God gave us something to remind us about that solemn promise. What did he give us? The rainbow. The, a rainbow is an art of light. Exhibiting a wild range of colors. It is caused by droplets of water falling through the air. It is usually seen in the sky at the end of a rain shower. Because of this, God said that every time you see a rainbow, it should remind you, remind us of his promise never to flood the whole earth again and remind us of his love for us. While searching out the colors of the rainbow, I'm reminded of what each color of the rainbow reminds me of. Red represents the blood a Jesus who shed for us. In Ephesians 1 7 it says, in him we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of our sins according to the riches of his grace. Forgiveness of our sins. Thank you dear Jesus for the blood that you shed for us. Yellow is for God's perfect light. The sun shines so bright. 
In James 1.17, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. What was that perfect gift? Jesus Christ. Orange is coming from night into life with through Jesus. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 2 through 11. Now this is a long one. Stay with me. For you yourselves know perfectly that the night, the day of the Lord also comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction comes upon them. As labor pains upon a pregnant woman, they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in the darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and the sons of day. They are not of the night. We are not of the night or the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and also the helmet of hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to us to wrap, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us that whatever we wake or sleep, we shall live together with him. Therefore, comfort each other and identify one another, just as you also are doing. Jesus came, is coming, and we don't have to worry because why? We believe in Jesus. We believe that he died on the cross for our sins so that we can have what? Everlasting life. Green. Green reminds us that God created the, the earth and the trees like the grass in spring. It represents a new life that we have in Jesus. All things are made through him that, and without him nothing has made that was made. In him was life, and life was the light of man. John 1, 3 through 4. Now in the beginning there was the word, and the word was with God. And God made everything, didn't he? He made the grass, he made the trees, he made everything new. And we are made new through Jesus Christ. Blue. Blue represent, represents the color of water. God created the oceans and the seas. This reminds us of the baptism that identifies us with God, with Jesus. John 3, 5. Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So, when we, you get baptized in the Holy Spirit, you get cleansed by God, and he will come into, you, into your hearts. Getting baptized means that you're telling the whole world that God has come into your heart. Black. We know what black represents, doesn't it? It, it represents the sins 
and God's darkest day. Remember that day that Jesus died on the cross? Why did he die on the cross? For our sins. Who himself bore our sins in his own blood on the tree that we have died to sin might live for righteousness by those stripes we are healed. Like I said, Jesus died on the cross for what? Our sins. He took it all on. Purple. Purple is for Jesus' hour of sorrow so that we can again gain the crown of life. James 1 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been proved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. A promise of life everlasting with Jesus Christ in where? Heaven. Pink. Pink is for a new tomorrow. Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own self. Psalms 118, 24. This is a, the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what the day will bring, the Lord is with us. Whether we're going through good things or bad things, the God is holding us, watching us, taking care of us. White. White represents God's purity and cleansing of our sins through God's grace. Ephesians 2, 8. For by grace we have been saved through faith that none of, our, none of ourselves, it is a gift of God. The gift of salvation being delivered and rescued and saved from our sins. Grace is free. God loved us, set us free from our sins. Faith in Jesus' Son, Jesus Christ, than what he had done. Grace and faith are gifts for our salvation. Remember those promises? God sent down another promise too, that he would send a savior. And who was that savior he sent down? Jesus, yes. And what did Jesus do? He saved us from our sins. And he made another promise. What was that promise? That we believe in him and ask for forgiveness of our sins, that we will wear, live forever in heaven with Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit. Rainbows appeared after appear after a mighty storm. They then things look the worst. When things look their worst, just then the sky just when the sky is darkest, out of the heaven a rainbow appears. God first sent the rainbow to Noah as a sign of his word is true. The rainbow me message still speaks to us today. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise that he will guide us through any storm. When we feel battered by life storms, we are filled and we are filled with doubt, just remember, God's rainbow is coming, and he'll be there for you. No matter what you're going through, God is with you, helping you, holding you, and seeing you through, because he's right there with you. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for your rainbow and the promise that you made with us, with each color. Help us to remember that you love us and will see us through each storm. Amen.